Alright, here we are out at the gazebo. Uh, I just wanted to show you it and uh, I'll put a pond in behind it. Uh, I'll walk around here and we'll look at the pond. So I put a little birdhouse, got me a little fake crane there to keep them out of my fish, hopefully. Uh, it's a hard thing to do. But there's the waterfall. Uh, it needs to be really, really, really thinned out with all the brush, but it kind of looks natural. Uh, got some goldfish in here right now. I did have some koi, but hit last year and I think I ran out of oxygen in my pond. It got so hot, so I put a ventricular tube in and got the pump running and it's putting oxygen out with the uh, water here. And if you don't know what a ventricular tube is, you can look it up on uh, YouTube and there's a lot of people. Put pompous grass, uh, the rocks are from Creek Oma land and some of the other rocks here, the bigger rocks were a guy down the road does some grading for me and I got some rocks from him. Uh, there's the skimmer. Um, I took and put a little deck out here on the back of the gazebo so I could sit down, but the skimmer takes and uh, skims all the leaves and all off the top and I've got a filter in there and I have a UV light in the back and it's been hot and the fish are still, you can still see them, they're almost, at, some of them down there are probably at close to three foot down. Pond's a little over three foot, so it really does a good job. And people can say what they want to about the UV lights. I love it. I mean, this thing was as green and swampy looking as it could be until we put that light on here. Uh, I made some little sidewalks to spread a lot of Roundup, so trying to get rid of the grass. It's just been so hard this year. It's, it's been so hot and humid. It's just stuff has grown unbelievable. And I need to get in here and thin some of the uh, plants, but uh, got another little walkway that goes off on this side. And it, this one don't go all the way around to the back. It goes out to the birdhouse in the ends, and or the bird feeder. And uh, then the other sidewalk actually walks all the way around behind, and you can actually see another arbor back there that I've got to start the rose bushes back up on. Uh, but yeah, that's my pond, and like I say, uh, if you don't believe in UV lights, then you just, I mean, you've got to get one. If you don't have one on your pond, it makes a world of difference. Uh, I mean, those fish are almost at three foot, and you can still see them, and it's been almost 100 here every day for two months almost. So, yeah, I mean, this is direct sunlight. There's no trees. I have nothing around here to shade this pond. So, I mean, you can tell that that UV light really does. I got one that was way too big for my pond, but um, I figured it'd be better to have one too big than too small and still have green water. So, yes, uh, I'll show it to you one day on another video. Uh, I do other videos. i um, trying to put up a lot more. We'll take and see if we can go and one day get into that skimmer and I'll show you it. And then I'll show you my thing that I got from a guy on YouTube about how to make a little uh, inlet. It's pretty cool. Um, Y'all have a good one.